wasn't born for digging deep holes. I'm not made for paving long roads. I ain't cut out to climb high line poles, but I'm pretty good. That's Billy Currington, and he is going to perform after the Rams game on Sunday at the Dome. Not a bad deal. To talk about it is uh, Rams president, Kevin Demoff. Kevin, thanks for joining us here in studio. Good morning. It's great to be here. Great weekend. Let's First, let's start with the game. Uh, love the fact that the throwback uniforms are coming out. Hey, if you're playing the Tennessee Titans, I think you have to wear the throwback uniforms from the Super Bowl year. So I know our group was excited to do it. We have this game and then. Tampa Bay, kind of a tribute to 1999 to wear the throwbacks. But when the schedule came out in April and we saw that we had Tennessee at home and Tampa at home, uh, I think nobody could screw up the fact that those are the two <laughs> games that you should wear the throwbacks for. So it was a pretty easy decision. Uh, are there rules you can only have so many throwback games? What are those rules with the NFL? You can, you can wear your throwbacks twice a year. Theoretically, you can't wear them in prime time now, and you're not supposed to wear them after uh, November – midpoint in November, you can get special permission, which we did for, for Tampa, obviously. And I think a lot of that's because when you get some of the teams with the crazy throwbacks that the league kind of says, we don't necessarily want that on Monday Night Football or NBC. Gotcha. Ours, the league loves our throwbacks. They didn't ever have a problem with us wearing them, so we've never had I also issue. I also like the white and the blue ones, too, the really way back ones. I, we would love to get crazier with the throwbacks and do a lot of different things with the throwbacks. Our, our fans you know, have – an affinity for these uniforms probably more than our current uniforms so we're always looking for ways to wear more throwback uniforms these are the ones we've chosen you can't switch up very often so right. but we've played very well in our throwbacks as well not just then but right now. you, you so want a super it's bowl so right? interesting yeah, so. how you don't talk fashion very often in sports <laughs> you, you, you say that, but I get probably more uniform questions as a whole from the fan base than any other type of question. Really? Absolutely. It, fans love talking uniforms. They love talking uniform redesign. They love talking throwbacks. So that's why this week is great. We get to wear the throwbacks and no questions about when we're going to wear them. The, the Rams have done a tremendous job of honoring veterans each week, day in and day out. And, again, this weekend, more special stuff there. This weekend's great, obviously, Military Appreciation Weekend for us. So it starts today. We have about 200 servicemen and their men and women and their families out at practice today to join us to watch practice, a special practice. Obviously, we have a lot going on on Sunday. I shouldn't say obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But uh, we partner with Boeing and the USO to donate tickets to the military up to 1500 for anybody who wants to come. We make more available should that not go quickly. And that's been a wonderful partnership that we've done for years. A ton of military in-game salutes and honorings. And we've always been a great fan of the military with Coach Fisher coming here, and he's been such a special friend of the Wounded Warrior Project and others. We've really been able to step up what we do. It starts in August when we go to Scott Air Force Base for a practice. We practice against the airmen and, and women, which is one of my favorite days of the year, just looking at what we do. And it continues throughout the year, and this is a great weekend to continue that tradition. And then after the game, Billy Currington's going to hang out for a while? Billy Currington, who I hear is a big country star, I should know, is mean that I'm married to someone from Nashville, and she's a <laughs> Billy Currington fan. Uh, I can't say that I know a lot of Billy's work, but after the game, a free concert for anybody who comes to the game and attends the game should be a great way to hopefully finish a, a nice Nashville day. Because yeah, yeah, that doesn't happen very often, having a concert post-game. We started a year ago. Uh, we did it last year with Switchfoot. It was a great success, so we wanted to get someone in this year. Obviously, the country tie-in with the Tennessee Titans makes right. great sense. Obviously, Tennessee and Mizzou. It right. is Tennessee invades Missouri week. Hopefully, there will be a clean sweep for all <laughs> involved. And, and Billy Currington can sing about the blues afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, – uh, uh, Jeff Fisher, this is a little bit of an interesting world for him. He was former coach of the Titans long time. Um, the question I have is the famous – picture of Mike Jones tackle in the Super Bowl is that still prominently placed out of Rams Park it's still prominently placed outside the coach's office so <laughs> uh, we took it down when we gave coach Fisher the tour when we were trying to woo him to come to St. Louis <laughs> and I, I forget what we put up instead but we made sure that that picture was missing and then he said yes two days later we put the picture back up and it still sits outside his office and, and he talks about how great it would be to get the Rams back to the Super Bowl. I think he, he's long gotten over from that perspective, uh, the yard that they didn't get. Uh, he's excited for this weekend. Obviously, it's another game for us, a chance to, to climb out a little bit of the hole that we've dug ourselves. And I think you know playing Tennessee is, is special for them because so many of our coaches play, you know, played for Tennessee, maybe coached at Tennessee. 
But at the same time, this is more important as what it means for the Rams for week nine of our season than it is about being a reunion game or a look back. Game. Yeah. Uh, last week, last Monday night, it, it's a short week for the Rams because they did play on Monday night. Say what you want about the quarterback play and everything else, but the defense really took a giant step forward last Monday night. It was a great game from every perspective, except we couldn't get the last play done. And, yeah. you know, to dominate a team, to outgain a team right now that's the number one seed in the NFC, a supposed Super Bowl favorite, outgain them by 200 yards, physically beat them up, get seven sacks, rush for 200 yards, the most rushing yards we've had in five years, you know, give up our fewest yards. I think the second fewest yards we've given up any time since the team's been in St. Louis. Uh, tremendously inspiring effort. If we can continue doing that each week and build off of that, we'll play really well the rest of the year. And, and Kellen will get more comfortable. If you put a backup quarterback in for their first game, they're going to make some mistakes. There's going to be some issues, knock off some rust. Uh, we have great confidence in him moving forward. And if we continue to play like that, run the football, play good defense, we'll be a team to be reckoned with. You know, all week long people are talking about who's going to be the backup, who, who's going to be the backup. But people forgot that Kellen Clemens was a pretty good college quarterback and, and has been in the league a, a couple of years. He's never really gotten a shot to be a starter. You know, one of the things about Kellen, he knows our offense. He's a veteran. The players trust him. They respect him. We had a lot of players after Sam got hurt saying, you know, don't go out and make a big deal. Don't get someone. We believe in Kellen. We want him to be our quarterback. And, the backup quarterback, when you look around the league, you need someone who can come in and function very well within your offense. And Kellen did that. We were able to get long drives on Monday night. We had 330 yards. It's not like our offense was inept and we right. couldn't do those things. I think you saw what we can do with Kellen, a quarterback. We'll expand it each week. We'll get him more comfortable. But it's going to come down to everybody's got to play better. The offensive line's got to play better. The defense has to play better. The receivers, the running backs, special teams. It's going to take a complete effort because you don't have a player like Sam Bradford who can step in and save you on one play with one throw. And uh, he had a surgery um, Tuesday, right? How is he doing? scheduled to have it this Tuesday, so he's oh. going to go down to Dr. Andrews. Uh, hopefully, the good news is, if there is any good news with his injury, that it's only an ACL, so hopefully that timetable should make it an easier recovery. But I say that it's not my knee, so any recovery that's not me <laughs> probably is easier. Why, why did it take two or three weeks to get the, the surgery? They always wait for the swelling to go down, and then they strengthen. They try to strengthen your quad and your thighs so that you have a greater range of motion initially after the surgery. So usually an ACL is about two to three weeks after the injury is when they go in and start to rehab it. I have my season tickets, Section 120. I love them. But for those who do not have season tickets, are there tickets available for this weekend? There are tickets available for this weekend. You can call 314 Rams Ticks or you can go to Ticketmaster.com. Uh, we have should have a very good crowd this week. Obviously a great crowd coming for Chicago in two weeks. And we've got New Orleans and Tampa to finish off. So really half the home schedule still exist we've played very well at home very competitive and, and i have to give great credit to our fans and everybody who was there on monday night it was a spectacular atmosphere it was a, a great sports night in downtown st louis with a world series down the street but we had a great crowd they were loud they made a difference you saw seattle calling timeouts in the right. first quarter yeah I, I was so impressed by the people that showed up and how energetic and fanatic they were they lifted our team and it was a great showing uh, for the Rams on Monday night. Yeah. Yours truly was there. I was there. I was there. Mm -hmm. I stayed as long as I could. Those Monday night games are kind of tough when you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. It was amazing. I, I tried to get home and, and unwind, and I looked at the clock, and it was 1.30. Yeah. <laughs> so but the players have it even tougher coming Monday night to now, but they're relaxed, recovered. They had to sleep in Thursday, and they're moving forward. That's Kevin Demoff, uh, Rams, Titans, Saturday at the Dome. It will be good weather for tailgating, and then stick around. Billy Currington, here's what he sounds like. He'll be at the Dome after the game. Kevin Demo, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. You got it. Go Rams. 758, Tim Weiland, you're in the KTS.